Aloha. Welcome to New Age Cafe. I'm Thierry, the founder, and uh, today I'm going to teach you how to make your own hydromagnetodynamic water vortex restructuring with magnets. Well, you see the water spins around the uh, cylinder unclockwise, the same way as our uh, DNA and all the planets and it is passing through six magnetic fields. You see those magnets all around it? Uh, they are alternated. This is uh, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. What happens is that every time the water passes through those magnetic fields, it is called pounded or hammered. The same way in nature, and this was discovered by Victor Schoberger in the 1940s. Victor Schoberger uh, observed nature and applied the uh, phenomenon of nature into the water and created the vortexes. Because the, when the water falls down to the mountain springs or the wave crashing into the shore, create a vortex that restructure the water to give it its most uh, primitive form, its most purest form um, of energy because water is living and water is, has a memory. Check the uh, study from Dr. Emoto in Japan where he studied the snowflakes and different uh, resonance of the, the water to different vibrations, like loving by vibration, that would make the snowflake very beautiful, or the fear or the hate vibration, that would make the snowflake destroy. We are water, so you can imagine the effect of type of a vibration, type of energy that goes into us. Loving vibration is a high vibration. People who are loving, um, more intensively happy. People live in fear, in denial, uh, in the very short length of vibration, uh, mostly have disease or the very acidic. Uh, they don't function well in, in life because they're not happy. This is a Tibetan ball. And I bought this uh, particular ball because it resonates 528 hertz which is the loving vibration, the same vibration found in Jupiter. After we structure the water, I put the water into this bowl and I sing it to give it loving vibration in addition of restructuring the water. So, what are the magnets about? It is pounded, like I say. When the water passes through those magnetic fields, it is pounded, it is attracted, then it's pushed, attracted, pushed, attracted, pushed. It's like I'll push from one side to another. So that's what happens to the water. It is energized. The same way that happens in nature when the, the water falls down to the mountain springs or like I say, the wave crashing into the shore, it restructures, it pounds the water, gives it the energy. And the vortex, because everything is vortex on Earth, Check Finobachi. The Finobachi sequences. Check that on Google or YouTube and they'll explain it to you. Finobachi. Everything is in spiral. Nothing is true about straight up and down and left to right. Everything spins. You see, if, if I will let my nail grow, it will spin. The same thing with the horns of animals. Everything spins and everything is sequences. 
0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, etc. And it, it unfolds, it multiplies. It's called Fenobachi. You apply vortex into the water and restructure it. Water has memory. When you flush it into the toilet and go back into the faucet and drink it, it went through all these pipes. And tell me, <laughs> it's not good memory. So it's very important to restructure your water after you purify it. I purify the water with the water power. This is my home brain. It's also from Adia Clarity. My own brain has M state. I add M state. I make my own ormus, M state here, out of Dead Sea salts or ocean pure water. And I add it to it to give it more life uh, to the water. It has 100 minerals and it's magnetized. So that means when you put one teaspoon into one gallon, I put a little bit more than one teaspoon here. The water splits, becomes lighter than the contaminants. The contaminants deactivate it. They fall down because they're heavier than the water for the gravity, the law of the universe. So what happens is that all the contaminants are on the bottom, as you see here. What I have here is a pure, clean, crisp water, free of contaminants, and that has 100 minerals in it. And that's the type of water that I'm going to put into my cylinder to restructure. I have a bigger cylinder here, and this one I use tap water. It's heavy. You see all the stuff? And I drink it from the top. Like this. It's delicious. So anyway, I want to teach you how to make your own vortex. Very simple. You get a cylinder. I bought this at Marshall for like six dollars, and um, I got this on eBay. This is a magnetic stringer. They use that in labs. It has two poles, magnets, uh, and a little plastic thing, so it will spin. I get a computer fan. Computer fan, I get a, a switch, a LED light, and a 12 volt adapter. Uh, it's up to you to change the voltage. You can put it higher, it will spin faster. So when you turn it on, the fan spins, the light goes on. I got two red lights into this vortex. So at night, it's really cool because it shows a red vortex. What you do is you glue. Uh, you glue a magnet, and the type of magnet I use is a magnet from computer. Uh, you can buy this on uh, eBay as well. I got 15 for like five bucks. And what you have to do, because it's attached together, you have to kind of bend it with two pliers like this. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to do this. This one is a little bit uh, complicated because it has those things on the side, so. I don't know if I'm going to succeed like right off the bat to show you on this video. I don't want to spend too much time doing this, but I will try. Okay, I got it. New Age Cafe. The arts of living well. So here it is. I got my magnet out of this. And this is a neodymium, very powerful magnet. What I do is I glue it to my computer fan. So because the magnet is very strong, you kind of have to put something in between. Otherwise the magnet kind of interfere with the movement of the, uh, the fan. So put like a piece of wood in between. So you glue the wood and you glue the magnet on top of the wood in about like half an inch, one inch, something like that. So the, the fan can spin with the magnet on top. So that would be on the bottom. Um, I use a PVC cylinder like this, a Home Depot was like two bucks bigger, so you can put the fan in it, screw it on the side, make a hole, put your, your interrupter, your switch, and put the lights. That's really cool, very easy, it's fun to do. And if you don't have that, you can use like a, a container. You cut a hole in the middle, you put your fan in it, you know, and you put scotch tape. I use. Um, this uh, silver scotch tape all around it to make it look cool. Whatever you want to do is fine. And, um, and the magnetic stringer inside your container, you just drop it and the fan, the magnet of the fan will pair with it 
and it will spin when it spins with the fan. I think you got the visual. Now to put the magnets, you have to find a way to um, make it even. You take two pieces of paper, you scotch tape it, put it around it, and you make a line where the paper meets. So right here, make a line. So here's, here's your paper with the line. Okay, so this is actually the perimeter of the cylinder. You take a, a measure tape and you measure. This is 15.4. So 15.4 divided by 6, because you got 6 magnets, so it's 2.56. So every 2.56, you make a mark. And depending on how many magnets you have, I use the M48 magnets. Those are very powerful. I put them on eBay as well. Um, depends how many you got. I guess you need like one, two, three, four, five, five times six, 30. Um, I got about 30 here. And um, so you do your thing. You count like, okay, so 2.56, you got your lines. So every two inches, I put two inches here, but you can put less or you can put more. It depends how many magnets you have and how high your cylinder is. Uh, this cylinder is pretty short, but I, I put that six anyway. So this is what you got. You get your lines. You got two inches here, 2.56 or whatever it is. And you make dots. You punch all the intersection. You make a little hole in it like this. Okay. I do that against the table like that, and then I press against it, or between your fingers, let's say you don't poke your fingers. And you put this around the cylinder again, because now it has all the holes, and you scotch tape it. You scotch tape here, and you scotch tape on the top, so it doesn't slide up and down. And you take a marker, and you just press all in the middle of the, the little holes. So now you got, when you take the, the paper out, take the paper out with the, with the tape, don't slide it up, otherwise it will spear all your, your marker mark on the glass. And what you got is all the dots on the glass, and that's where your magnets is gonna go. So for one, when you put the magnets, take super glue, you do one line at a time. You go from the top or from the bottom, but you do one line first. That's gonna be your positive charge. So you take it from the top, it doesn't matter, but you, you keep the same way, and you put your glue here, and then you glue it to your, to your glass container. Then when you do to the next line, you go negative. So you do the same thing, but you spin. You rotate your magnet to the other side. So now it's negative. Positive, negative, positive, negative. Got it? And then you put that into your container, scotch tape it, and there you have your uh, magnetodynamic um, dynamics for vortex fluorisis water. To restructure your water with the rotation of vortex, but also empower, uh, energize your water, and then you can transfer it if you want. That's the next step, but that's what I do. I love to do that. Because we don't have enough love in this world. There's so much fear, so much corruption, so much misunderstanding, so much stuff on TV. Stop watching TV. It's, it's so bad out there. It's only an advertisement anyway. That's all. All the shotguns. Every time you hear a shotgun, it creates a normal into your body that makes you fear. And it, it, it raises, you know, it, it makes you live less. <laughs> so what I do is I send some loving vibration into the water. I know if you're going to see it, but... At one point, it starts to splash. And I send some good loving vibration. Thank you, water, for being here today. Thank you for nourishing my body, and giving me the, the, the nourishment, the electrolytes, the life, the, the purity of the water that you are. Thank you for being here, and thank you for nourishing me. Thank you for giving me the, the fluids, the oxygen that I need. Take a little cup and I drink it. Cheers.
delicious. Very crisp, very clean. You can chill it if you want to six degrees, just like the same mountain. But it's better if you don't drink cold. Warm water is better. Room temperature, actually. So it was a pleasure to show you this to you. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this uh, demonstration. Check my other uh, videos about um, elect water electrolysis, ionizers, um, free radicals, antioxidants, much more videos to come. It was a pleasure to, to uh, see you today and to show you this. And I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you later. Namaste and Thierry, thank you.